What's going on, people? Welcome to your 25th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over something called motion paths. And a motion path is a path that allows motion. You wouldn't have guessed that, would you? So let's go ahead and enough of the small talk. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and instead of this one view, go ahead and create two views, um, horizontal. And go ahead and just resize your box so you can see them all. You can use your uh, uh, little roller ball, or I don't even know what it's called, between your mouse buttons. And hopefully you're not using a Mac. And if you don't uh, have that little roller ball, then I don't know what to do. And another thing, excuse me if I go kind of slow today. I just ordered a bunch of little uh, stickers for my keyboard that tell you what every shortcut is on After Effects. So my keyboard's like 800 different colors right now, and it's kind of hard to see. But anyways, enough uh, goofing around. Let's get started with this tutorial. Um, the first thing we need is a layer. So I uh, actually feel like making a text layer. So go to layer new text. And I just feel like, you know, making one today because I haven't in a while. And I'm going to name it B for Bucky. And I'm going to size it up a bit. So now we have this layer that's just chilling here named B. And of course, we want to work with 3D. So let's go ahead and click our little 3D checkbox. And I like to set this view to active camera. And I like to set this view either to left or right. So let's go ahead and put it... Um... Actually, let's go ahead and put it to right. Feel more comfortable. I'm right-handed. Does it have anything to do with it? Mm, I'll let you be the judge. But let's go ahead and uh, we're going to be working with position. Really? Someone's calling me right now. Hold on a second. I'll pause this. All right, guys. That was just one of my friends calling me at midnight wanting to steal my badge for work. But... Anyways, that is irrelevant. What we're here to talk about today is animating position. So let's go ahead and click this little checkbox right here. And let's go ahead and move this one all the way back. Uh, like this. And the next thing we want to do is move ahead to like two seconds or something. And then we want to move this up a little bit and towards us. Uh, right there looks nice. And as you can see from this right angle, uh, you can see, well, the right view. And from the active angle, you can see the front view of it. So let's go ahead and move this to 4. And we hopefully give this a little roller coaster effect right here. And then we'll end it at 6 or something like that. Like this. And this brings me to another point. Anytime you want to um, edit your, I think they're called bezier handles or something. I call them curving sandals. Just go ahead and those are these little dots right here. And if you can't see them, go ahead and click the anchor point. And what this is going to allow you to do is adjust the curviness of your image. So make sure you got that selected. Got to grab it. Ah, oh, there we go. Got it. So once you edit those, uh, you're able to edit the curviness. Um, oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, thank you and oh I thought you said bless you uh, the curviness of your image so let's go ahead and, and see our final animation up and down and up again I shouldn't have made that took so long so again that is how you edit um, a basic 3d animation again with two views is the best um, if you want to work with four views um, it may be even easier even though these are all the same views right here maybe you get one from the left and this one from the top or something like that but um again maybe that's not easier maybe that's just more confusing but another thing that I want to point out after I change my views back um the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is something called auto orienting excuse me so let's go ahead and select this layer and put layer um, transform audio auto orient and click OK and as you can tell what this does is allows your animation to orient along the path and I accidentally added another keyframe right there but that's irrelevant and you can really tell what's going on in this um, one right here what it's doing is your letter or layer is orienting along the path now there are a couple errors about this 
um, but you can fix them easy if you could tell that your B is flipped around. Um, it looks like a D now, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that this option is out there, and in some cases, you want it to orient along the path and just instead of just straight, staying straight up and down the whole time. So um, that's up, up there, and if you can't figure out how to fix that simple error, then well, you shouldn't be using After Effects by now. So um, that's that for this tutorial. I'm kind of rambling on. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you. Well, I don't even know what I'm going to be showing you, but I guarantee it's awesome. And yes, that's a guarantee. So um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I am going to the store to buy some food. So I will see you next tutorial.